I'm Herb Strather, and I would like to have a discussion with you today on cap rates. And it's very, very important to know what a cap rate is because it moves in conjunction really to the bond market, to financial markets. If you know what a cap rate is, you will have an advantage whenever you're bidding on a property. You'll know just how low that you can go and still make the kind of yield that you can make. So first, what does a cap rate consist of? What is a cap rate and what does it consist of? A cap rate consists of the return you want. It is, a cap rate is the return that you want. It consists of the equity rate and the debt rate. The equity rate, rate we often call it our cash on cash. What kind of cash flow do you want? Do you want a 10% cash flow, would that make you happy? Or today, do you want a 15% cash flow? Or even a 20% cash flow? What kind of cash flow are you willing to accept when you buy a piece of real estate? Now, the debt rate is really based upon what the interest rate is and what the amortization period is. And I got some great news for you. Long-term rates are lower than I believe they've ever been in my life. Long-term rates are lower than 4% right now. You can get an FHA loan, a, let's qualify that, a commercial loan, 100 units or more, north of a million dollars. You can get a commercial loan today for less than 4%. And if you amortize that over, say, 25 years, and you can get longer, you can go up to 35 years under the 223F program, but let's say that if you went 25 years, and let's say that you put 20% down all together with the reserves and all, although you don't have to, you can put a little bit less, but let's say if you put the full 20% down and you're, you took a 25-year self-amortizing loan out, it would be a 5% debt rate, the annual comps. In other words, it may be 3.99 interest rate. But that 1.1 rate is the principal amortization. That's the amount that you're amortizing the loan by. So you combine those together, that's the overall debt rate. If it's interest only, then the interest rate and the debt rate would be the same thing under interest only mortgage. But if it's a amortization, you gotta put that little principal payment and amortize that. So let's just go over the math today and say if you were going to put 20% down and you were going to take an 80% mortgage and your 20%, you wanted to have a 15% yield. How does that sound? Follow the math with me right now. Let's say your equity, this is your equity, and let's say your equity, you're going to put 20% down, you want, and that's 20%, and that's times you want a 15% cash flow, that would equal 3.0. Now let's say your debt is 80%, right? Times, I told you a 5% constant, and you multiply that 0.80 times 5 is 4.0. That's a 7% cap rate. Will you look at that, a 7% cap rate? Let's do one more real quick. Let's say that if you were a little greedy and you want 20 times 20, that would equal 4.0, and we know that the debt rate is 80 times 5 equal 4.0. 8.0 would give you a whopping 20% return. Now that you have that information, when you're negotiating, you you will know how low you can go and still beat out your component. This is Herb Strather from Strather Academy.